In the basement of Center Point Church in the small community of Sioux Center, Iowa, Kaylee Van Middendorp gets to live out her faith as the executive director of Guiding Star Siouxland. The organization is a holistic women's health care center. Although Guiding Star is sometimes mischaracterized as only a pregnancy resource center, Van Middendorp says her work does so much more. Guiding Star invests in the health and care of women before, during, and after pregnancy, planned or unplanned. She says she believes that pro-life organizations need to start working with women long before they're faced with an unplanned pregnancy. When we're telling girls and women that their bodies were created bad, that menstruation, gestation, lactation, ovulation, all of those incredible biological processes that God put into place are failures or they're not working well, so let's stop them, let's do X, Y, and Z. We're starting that culture of death from the beginning. Because of how closely Guiding Star's mission aligned with her Christian faith, she started as a volunteer in the center's Child Watch program while she was a social worker. She spent much of her time as a hotline operator in that position, connecting victims of domestic and sexual violence with resources to help them. But I also wanted to work in a job that really was a position where I could make a change in people's lives that also aligned with my um, personal values and my uh, Christian faith and things like that. So when an opportunity arose for her to become the center's client service coordinator, Van Middendorp jumped at the chance. When she became executive director of the center during the COVID-19 pandemic, they were forced to move out of their location in Orange City due to financial struggles. After a long and discouraging search for a new location that would suit their needs, they received a call from the pastor of Center Point Church offering the use of their basement. <laughs> and when they had said like, oh, basement, it was kind of like, um, I'm not sure that that's such a great idea. But Van Middendorp said the location is spacious and has its own side entrance, a character she believes many clients appreciate. It's a small community and people can be kind of chatty. So if you were to park on this street, um, it's a pretty private area that people wouldn't necessarily be like, oh, what are they doing there? As Van Middendorp and her staff settled into their new home in Sioux Center, a nearby hospital sent them a referral for a mother in need of help. Um, one mom specifically that we just worked with um, had existing older kiddos, had gone to a local health care center and walked in the doors and said, I know that I'm pregnant, I want to have an abortion, and none of the health care centers around us provide that. Um, but they called us in to kind of offer this mom education and support of what that would look like because they found out she was already in her second trimester. Van Middendorp said she sat down with the mother for an options counseling session. She found out that she had been physically abused by her former partner, who was now in jail. Without his financial support, the mother felt she was unable to afford to have another child. We talked about the perfect world, right? What would what would be the circumstances that would you would say, yes, I'm ready to have this baby. Um, referred her to resources, connected her to partners, reached out to churches, you know, to get her that support later on. In addition to helping that mother overcome her perceived limitations, they talked about what taking the option of abortion would look like physically. Which was a difficult, it's always a difficult conversation because that's not ever something that people like to hear about. And I think abortion providers tend to kind of gloss it over and make it seem like it's no big deal or that the baby um, isn't a baby and so it, they can kind of make it not realistic for those moms. Although the conversation was hard, by the end the mother had a change of heart. By the end of the appointment we all, all of us in the room, were kind of in tears together because we knew that this mom was was not wanting to choose abortion. So at that point, you know, we discussed, all right, so what are you thinking now? Um, and she said, you know, I don't, I don't want to give this baby up for adoption. I want to, I want to, I want to raise this baby. And in February, this mom started that journey. She gave birth to a baby girl. Although Van Middendorp and Guiding Stars Resources helped this mom to choose life for her baby, even if she had made a different choice, she still would have been welcomed at Guiding Star. We also provide post-abortion counseling for anybody who has been affected by that abortion, whether that be the father of the child, parents of the woman who had an abortion, friends, um, because it's a huge loss um, of life for many people. If the Supreme Court rules to overturn Roe v. Wade, Guiding Star may be faced with many moms in need of help who don't have anywhere else to turn. 
Van Middendorp says she and Guiding Star have been preparing for just that eventuality. We're focusing on creating that cultural shift um, so that we're, we're really prepared for that post row world and that so any woman who achieves a pregnancy would view that as a life um, and would uh, embrace that life for herself and her child. Reporting for World, I'm Hannah Bolick in Sioux Center, Iowa.